So we have a mobile vehicle bay. What more do you want in life? Nothing. We also have a message. Let's go and listen to our radio. Ooh. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Oh, corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Right. Captain Keen has found dry land. Look, there's that cloud look. There is definitely something suspicious there. Look at that. That low cloud, it's it's in front of the horizon and it kind of I think it's masking something personally. Maybe that is dry land. Right, what happened there? Uh we group one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site, so southwest. Over that way. There's another cloud look. These clouds are either glitchy or they're covering land. One and a half kilometers in that direction. Okay, um data downloads uh, codes and clues. Hold on. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Okay. Um, Life pod 17. No, that wasn't them. Hmm. Actually, we didn't ever get around to reading this, did we? This actually is a little bit of backstory. Altera launches the Aurora, which is the ship that has crashed, or as I'm starting to believe, was shot down. As uh, when compared to what happened to the Sunbeam, Phase Gate announced for the Ariadne arm. Altera launches the Aurora, the furthest reaches of the inhabited space are due to expand as Altera Corps launches a newly constructed capital ship carrying a Phase Gate bound for the Ariadne arm. The Aurora will travel from a space dock in the edge of Altera space, making hundreds of consecutive phase jumps. Phase gate jumps through nine different trans-gov authorities and arrive on the far side of the Ari Ariadne arm in three months' time. From there, the command crew will pilot the ship beyond the final phase gate, arriving in the next system approximately 18 months later. There, the elite team of engineers will begin a six-month construction project on the new phase gate, a multi-trillion credit investment. In the absence of existing infrastructure in the region, the vessel is equipped with advanced thermal and nuclear power facilities. Altera Corp currently operates 9% of all phase gates in the galaxy. If the Aurora's mission is successful, Altera will have outmaneuvered a cabal of Mongolian corporations operating a range of outposts and mines in the region. Right. Well, that's all very interesting. Um, so, Altera are some giant space corporation. Basically, probably getting on everyone's nerves. Um, bladderfish, hoopfish. And, uh, perhaps. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's life for 13, sorry. Perhaps some Mongolian guys are not happy with them. For some reason or other. Okay, cool. Cooked secured spade fish. Cooked hoop fish. It's not too much for you to know as I eat it. I might as well drink that as well. And what I'm going to do is... I thought we made three titanium ingots. We did, didn't we? Huh? So we can pack this up and move it, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, also, it's quite a cool way of... Okay, Seamoth. So I'm going to make a Seamoth. To make the Cyclops, yeah, we don't know yet. Seamoth. And then I'm going to take it back over to the Aurora area and try and find some stuff. Right, so Tenny Mingot, Power Cell, Glass Times 2, Lead, and Lubricant. We've got all that stuff. We can make a Power Cell, and we can make Titanium Ingots. And we need Glass, Lead, and Lubricants. Excellent. Glass... actually, hold on. Glass Times 2, right. Quartz. We can make Titanium Ingot already. We need a power cell. We've 
got some lubricant on board, I think. Power cells. No, we got these are not power cells. Uh, lead. Right, let's grab some. One, two, three, four. And that's what we need. We've got some lube, I think, in here. Power so I think we've already used to make a titanium to make the uh, the be a vehicle bay in the first place. Sorry, let's make titanium belts. Glass, glass, perfect. So that's. Oh, it only makes just the one. Fair enough. Uh, two bits of glass and lube, which <laughs> lube, which is quite a funny word. Um, right, we need one bit of lead and a power cell. How do we make power cell? Two batteries and silicon rubber. We've got some silicon rubber in the thing, and we need some batteries, copper, and acid mushrooms. Right, so we're laughing, I think. We also need to work out to right, we've got some copper. Some silicon rubber. Can we use our? Ooh, can we use our no low char non charged batteries? That might be quite useful. Get some acid mushrooms and a bit of lead as well. It was hold on. Uh, power cell, two times batteries. Yeah, and a sort of bit of silicon rubber is perfect. So we can make one of them right now. And then last but not least was. To make oh to make the very oh, sea moth. That's all we need. And the ultra glide fins. Oh we need lithium, yeah, damn. We just need to make the power cell and then away away we go. Well that's a use for my two dead batteries, isn't it? Deployable. Nope. Right, that's everything. Make me a sea moth, worthy of Mordor. Safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Oh my good lord, we've got ourselves a sea moth. This is wonderful. The sea, yeah, we've already read that. Oh, heard that, sorry. Right, we've got a bit of copper we can get rid of. Cured spade fish. Okay, let's chuck the copper back into one of these. Not that one. Just free up some space. I put the repair tool somewhere. God knows where that is. Um. Welcome aboard, Captain. Wow. This is brilliant. We got lights. We got everything. Degrees. Uh, what do I know about the sea moth? Let's just double check stuff because. Um, vehicles. Sea moth. Right. One person vehicle with an independent replaceable power cell fitted in the near and. Oh! Replaceable. Yeah, I probably should take another power cell, right? Most long-range vessels carry at least two vehicles of this class to facilitate the exploration and exploitation of small astronomical bodies. Ratings: top speed 13 miles per meters per second, acceleration 5 meters per second per second, distance per power cell 10k, crush depth 200 meters below sea level. Upgrade module slots 4. Right, so 200 meters is as deep as we can go. That's good to know. Maybe modify points on the upgrade modules to the access point mounted on the wing. These include. Okay, so we can upgrade. No, these modules may only be manufactured at a moon pool out of field with a vehicle vehicle modification station. Right. So I can only upgrade it at a vehicle modification station. If I bring it up here, what happens? No, I can't dock. 
or anything. So that that can just be carried around. But it might be quite clever to carry an extra. <laughs> It might be quite clever to carry an extra. How do I use these slots down here? Oh, right click is lights. That's alright, that's good to know. Scroll doesn't do anything, right click does nothing. The fish aren't scared of this sea moth. This is brilliant. Um, what do I possibly need it for? I don't know, but it might be nice to make another power somewhere for whilst we're here. Um, power cell. Two batteries and silicon rubber. Yeah, okay. We could make some batteries as well, to be honest. It's not... Seems we got massive mushrooms right here. One, two, three, four. Silicon rubber. Creature egg. Arcade gorge toy. Um, some copper. Some silicon. Maybe we should take the may take it and then take the rebreather. Yes, that's what we'll do. We'll take those. We'll leave those for the moment. Barry, 90%, Um We need some silicon rubber. I've got some somewhere. What I'm thinking is we've got that life pod 13 to get to, but it's at... Oh, it's only 175! That's definitely where we're going to go then. Cool. Um, make a battery. Make another battery. Make a power cell. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is take the radiation helmet off. Really keep the radiation helmet on me. We've got a spare power cell now, which is useful. We've got water, we've got some cured fish. And we'll ditch the cured fish. Oh no, we'll ditch the rubber into here. Perfect. Perfect. Right, okay, let's take the sea moth to investigate the... Lovely. Life pod 13. Here we go. Smash. Instantly smash it into my own life pod. Brilliant. Now, I wonder if we get attacked by stuff in this. Will a stalker attack me? stuff in the sea moth? Must be able to somehow. The biggest question of course is will the reaper attack me? Wow. Wow we are going deep. This is a new biome with some interesting looking critters down there. Wow. 
Wow, look at this. Look at these guys. They're pretty cool. Should I get out and experiment with this, these guys and see what they do? This is so cool. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint or terra vehicle signatures. Ah, this is amazing. Um, this is really beautiful. And what is this stuff on the this green, just green coral? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's investigate the sea pod first, and then we'll come back and have a little look around. Here it is. Is there anything dangerous around? Not I can see. Well, we did just take, we have taken 10 damage. And I've put the repair tool somewhere. What's that over there? I've put 19. Oh, that's over there. That's at 300 meters. Jesus. Okay, I'm getting out. That's everything. That's everything that's in here. new PDA data. All right. Life pod 13 emiss emissaria. He was an emissary, the important passenger. Life pod launch sequence initiated. Entry planetary atmosphere. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one. On and off and on again. Impact imminent. Life is a game which the universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. <laughs> well, that was kind of horribly weird. Just trying to get a read on one of these jelly jelly squids, whatever the hell it was called. Jelly ray. They're not aggressive, which is nice. But they're quite skittish. I'm glad to see there's some peepers down here. What? I'm so close! There we go. Let's get back in the sea moth before I drown. 30 seconds. Beautiful, right. That was really cool. Um, the next question is, there was that green stuff on the tree, wasn't there? Let's go and have a look at that. What's this? Oh, that's nothing, that's tree spawn, but I can't scan that. What these red things? They're nothing either. These lights are down there, anything either, are they? I really like this biome, it's really nice. Cool, what's that? Gru cluster. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Right, and the other one is at 300 meters. Lifeboard 19, second officer Keen's last broadcast location. I could do that myself, couldn't I? The 300 meters. I could get to 200 in the sea moth and do the last 100 myself. But it might be quite terrifying. So nice over here. Right, what did we discover then? The emissary was some kind of crazed religious moron. Um, anything scannable? Okay, let's, let's have a little look at what we saw there. So the life pod emissary, 
that my creators, cherishers and sustainers will give me this day my daily pleasures I give to those who seek pleasures from me. Show me the... So, so he's kind of praying, is he? Yeah, he, he's kind of praying as he falls to his doom. Okay, coral. We have tree mushrooms. Assessment, exploitable. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, they're exploitable in some way, so we might have to collect those later. Herbivores, jelly ray. This species is adapted to low light environments with a translucent, inedible, luminous body, yeah. It doesn't seem to be aggressive, which is quite nice. And flora, what else? What do we find? Sea flora. Tree leech. Exploitable fungal enzymes. Ooh. Parasitic fungus like growth found attached to. Apparently, look at the. Look at the inside of that. To other life forms, an enzyme is released by the organ which dissolves a hole in the skin of the host from which it leaches nutrients directly. What? Outer tooth lined jaws serve no I don't know, but maybe to assess used during a different stage of the organism's life cycle. Assessment exploitable fungal enzymes. Hmm. Doesn't sound very nice, does it? What is that there? It's an egg of some kind, isn't it? Reefbacks. We can hear reefbacks. I like hearing reef bags. They could, they're, they're nice kind of uh, reassuring presence, you know. Excuse me as I take a sip of coffee that I've made myself. Wow, this is extremely deep. Instantly becoming scary again. What is that noise? place. Ultra high capacity tank, we've already... Oh, look, can we get in here? Damn, we can't get in. Can we get in underneath? It's got some horrible scrapes on one side. Ah, here's the hole. Abandoned PDA. Beautiful, that's everything, right? Integrating new PDA data. Let's get the hell out of here. Somewhere to explore. Uh, later date, I think. What are you sweating about? That was easy. Absolutely easy. Nothing to worry about. What's that there? Aurora Rendezvous Point. Dry land. Oh, well, we've got to investigate that. What is that up there? What the hell is this? That 
Is this floating land? Good golly. We found a floating island. Ha! Huh. Is there a way to get onto this island? This is amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. It's all clear and sunny and crystal blue water. There must be a way on. There must be a beach. Have we just gone the whole way around the outside? When I probably had the beach to one side. We'll find out. But still it's good to do a little uh, scout around the outside, see what we see what we can see. Basically, just a big cliff down into the water, but there must be a slightly shallower point. Come on now. What on earth is that thing? Oh that's the <laughs> that's the Aurora coming into here we go, this is where we get on. Still quite scary, this big kind of depth, deep nothingness. This is amazing. We have a floating bloody island. <laughs> Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Multiple energy, bloody yeah! I can see why. Right, we just got a ultra high capacity tank, so we've got a high capacity tank. We need f four lithiums, of which we've never found. Well, I haven't found any, and we can go up to much more air. Right, we definitely need one of those. Lithium is the thing we're looking for. And we have found. To all crew, uh, crew. If you're reading this message, you then you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by this life pod's onboard computer, contrary to my orders. To all crew, if you're reading this, then you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by this life pod's onboard computer, contrary to my orders. I've been forced to evacuate. Your orders to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates of the nearest landmass. I hope to see you there. Yeah, well, we've been to both places, mate. I've personally swam down to 300 meters to find this place. And what the hell is that up there? Right, well, I think we'll end this video here. Um, literally on the edge of a cliff. And uh, explore this island. Well, it's getting dark. Maybe explore the island <laughs> in the dark in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.